short story called Lover of a Thousand Lifetimes. Mark is going to have apple butter and butter on his toast. Gina says she'd like a poached egg with bacon. Then they have a silence while I don't know what to say. Until Gina says, apple butter is not like butter. And Mark says, that's true. That's why I get butter too. They both drink their coffee for a while until Gina wants to know what time it is and when does the bus leave. And Mark says it's 10 now and it leaves at 11. We have time. Then the food comes. Would you like to try mine? No. They were kids the last time he saw her. She was 11 and he was 13. They just met again at a funeral. Now they are at the diner next to the bus station. She gave him a ride down here after the memorial service. Mark has to get home across the state because he has work tomorrow. It is unclear if they will ever see each other again. They live in far-flung orbits, is what Gina said at the funeral. There is an announcement about a closed highway. Mark finds out he'll have to go a different route and not leave until later. Do you want to go to the mall? No. It was nice to see you again. They have just about finished their meal when they see a dog out the window, about to cross the busy road. Gina jumps up, goes out there to help the dog. Mark pays the bill and grabs her coat. When he gets out there, it seems like Gina is already friends with the dog. It has a collar without a name tag. Mark finds a piece of electrical wire alongside their ro the road that they use as a short leash. It's a friendly, dirty little dog. She must be lost, says Gina. We should get her something to eat. Do you want to keep him? I can't. If you feed him, you won't be able to say goodbye to him. She's a girl. Maybe you should take her to the pound. They'll kill her. Maybe she'll get adopted. Not likely. She's an all right dog. I'm going to go now. Get her some food. Okay. They walk to Gina's car with a dog. She gets a blanket out of the trunk for the dog to sit on. Then she tells Mark, goodbye. That was the last time he saw her.